We saw properties that the multiplier is counter cyclical, which means the multiplier is large when uh, you are in recession. So when the, when theta, you know, because theta is always pro cyclical. So when tightness is low, but lambda is low when theta, and of course, when theta is, uh, when tightness is low, that's also when, uh, you know, when employment is low and the multiplier lambda is low when theta, the tightness is high, which is also when, uh, when employment is high. Okay, you can, Okay, no. so it's counter cyclical in good times. So if you want, if you want to say it differently, in good times, you have a low multipliers. In bad times, you have a high multiplier. So, you know, if you're a government, and you're thinking about the effectiveness of your policy, you know, by spending some fixed amount, how many workers you can bring in uh, the labor market, then clearly bad times are good times. <laughs> bad times are uh, situations in which it's really, uh, public employment is really effective. So if the government decides to hire workers in bad times when unemployment is really high, like exactly like what the New Deal did during the Great Depression, then you're going to be very effective. Uh, and, and we'll see the intuition that there is very little trolling out in bad times. Uh, whereas in good times, where you know, it's already hard to work with workers, there's a lot of trolling out, and the policy is not going to be very effective. The multiplier is going to fall. Okay? Uh, so what's the proof for that? How can we uh, prove these things? So let's look at the expression for the multiplier. So um, let's tackle the proof on the counter cyclicality of the multiplier. So here I've brought back the expression for the multiplier we had just derived and notice that indeed our multiplier depends on theta, so labor market tightness. So it means that the multiplier will be systematically different at different points of the business cycle. So now notice that alpha, the shape of the uh, production function, eta, the shape of the matching function, sigma, the share uh, of workers in the private sector. So all of this, they stay the same over the business cycle. So now what's going to change over the business cycle? Well, it's these two elements u of theta, the unemployment rate, tau of theta, the recruiter producer ratio. So now what happens in good times? <coughs> unemployment rate in good times, we know that it's low. Tau of theta, the recruiter-producer ratio in good times, which means when the tightness, when good times, what I mean with good times is theta is high, high tightness. So, so when tightness is high, take the effort to recruit, the recruiter-producer ratio is high. So from this, we infer that uh, in good times, tau of theta over u of theta is high, both because the recruiter producer ratio is high and because the unemployment rate is low. And from that, we infer that if tau over u is high, given that it's in the denominator of our multiplier, the multiplier lambda of theta is low.
Okay, so in good times, your multiplier is low. Now what about bad times? Well, it's the exact opposite. So by bad times, I mean that when theta is low, the exact opposite. If you're in bad time, you have low tightness, your unemployment rate, u of theta, that's high. Your future producer ratio, tau of theta, that's low in bad time. Here it's easy to recruit workers. You don't devote much resources to uh, recruiting. And tau of theta for these two reasons, over u of theta is low. And hence, because that's in the denominator of the multiplier, the multiplier lambda of theta is going to be high. So we've shown that when theta is high, the multiplier is low. When theta is low, the multiplier is high. So mathematically, what, we, what we've showed is that lambda prime of theta, the derivative of the multiplier with respect to theta keeping the other parameter constant, that's negative. Right? When you have a high tightness, you have low multiplier. When you have a low tightness, you have a high multiplier. So the multiplier is a counter cyclical. Because of course, tightness moves with the business cycle. Um, so, the kind of takeaway from that analysis is that uh, you know, we've seen that government spending on um, public employment uh, is, an, uh, is a way to reduce unemployment, but what we've just showed here is that the uh, type of policy of public employment is particularly effective in bad times. So in bad times, you have a high multiplier, which means that by increasing the size of your public sector, you can reduce unemployment effectively. In good times, it's not so much the case. In good times, you have a low multiplier, so by increasing public employment, it's not a very effective way uh, to actually reduce unemployment. Okay? So public employment, boosting public employment is a policy that's going to be especially effective in bad times. Uh, and so what's the, what's the logic for that? What's the intuition? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, it's because in bad times, uh, there is very little crowding out of uh, private employment by public employment. So when you're in bad times, you know, there are a lot of workers who want to uh, get jobs. So when the government steps in and starts to hire workers for the public sector, that doesn't have a big effect on the private sector just because there's such a big quantity, such a big pool of unemployed workers. So firms don't really care that the public sector is hiring workers. Crowding out is very low, and so your multiplier is going to be very close to one. In good times, it's the opposite. There are very few unemployed workers. It's really hard to get workers for firms. Now, if on top of that, the government steps in and start hiring workers, it's going to make it really, really difficult for firms to hire, so they're going to cut down on hiring a lot. So there's big crowding out, and so your multiplier is going to be much closer to zero. Okay? Um, so if you want to reduce unemployment by hiring workers in the public sector, the good time to do it is actually bad times. It's not really good times. Okay? So public employment, is a policy that's especially well adapted for uh, for recession. 